Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel, Legal Impress. Today, we're going to be discussing a very interesting topic that we may have experienced before or we know one or two people that may have experienced this and it is delayed flights. Delayed flights under the Consumer Protection Regulation of the NCAA. Part 19 deals with consumer protection regulations as it relates to delayed flights, overbooking, cancellation of flight and compensation when you find yourself in such scenarios. The aim of the consumer protection regulation is to enlighten passengers about their rights and duties and also the obligations of air carriers to passengers. Number one is that when your flight is delayed beyond one hour, you are actually entitled to refreshment. Yes, you're entitled to refreshment and refreshment under the regulation means soft drinks, water and snacks. You should not ignore this as you never can tell when you may be stranded and you need to feed on something. So it is your right after your flight has been delayed for one hour that the airline should provide you with refreshment. In addition to this, the airline is also supposed to provide you with free of charge two telephone calls, SMS and electronic mail. Now, number two, when your flight has been delayed between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m., the operating air carrier is to provide you with hotel accommodation. So no one, absolutely no one should be sleeping at the airport. So the airline is actually supposed to provide you with hotel accommodation and transportation from the airport to the hotel accommodation. Number three, which is the last one, is when you have been delayed beyond two hours, the airline will provide you with the following. Now, you have three options under this category of two hours delay. First, you can demand for an immediate reimbursement of your money in cash. That's what the regulation provides for, immediate reimbursement of your money in cash. Or you can also request that you should be rerouted with another operating air carrier to your destination. So if they are no longer going or they are expected not to depart at the scheduled time, then they should reroute you with another operating air carrier. Or in the event that you do not like the first and second option, you can decide to go back home. But before you do, ensure you tell them that you want to be rerouted with another operating air carrier or with the airline at a time that is convenient for you, but that is subject to the availability of seats. So you have three things you can actually request for when your flight has been delayed beyond two hours. I hope that you've been enlightened by this video that you've watched. In our next video, we'll be discussing on delayed flight as it relates to international air carriers. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the red button, like, share, and repost this to your friends that might have experienced this scenario before. Thank you so much for watching.